hello students today i welcome you all in the new class of uh, environmental science and the topic for today's class is noise pollution so the points which are going to cover in this in today's class are what is a noise pollution in short we are going to see a definition what are the causes of noise pollution what are the sources of noise pollution and how can we control the noise pollution so we'll begin with a <clears throat> general definition or the introductory part of noise pollution so first we'll start uh, we'll learn what is a noise pollution so what is a noise the word noise comes from a latin word that is called as a nausea means sicknessness okay so noise pollution uh, is or very the what we hear various from the various types of sound every day okay the sound is mechanical energy from a vibrating source as we know the <clears throat> sound or the which is coming on the ear or the waves which are falling on the ear or the ear drum is a form of energy for example the electrical energy or the electric energy which is the photons are moving likewise the sound or is the energy which is in the form of vibration so they are propagating in a particular direction and then by the different frequencies we can hear loudness or the very low sound of uh, from a particular source a sound uh, so the sound is mechanical energy from a vibrating source a type of sound may be pleasant or sometimes some to someone and at the same time to unpleasant to others right so for example the sound which is coming from any instrument maybe sitar or any kind of tabla so that sound or that sound waves of a particular vibration we feel very pleasant or soothing okay in opposite to that if the sound wave which is coming from any machinery for example the work is going on uh, on the roads okay for the construction of metro or for a overbridge and while they are drilling that sound becomes unwanted or the unpleasant for the human beings so that unpleasant and unwanted sound is called noise okay which you don't want to hear again and again that is a unpleasant sound and that is called as a noise okay so <clears throat> the sounds can propagate through a medium like air liquid or solid and sound wave is a pressure perturbation in the medium through which sound travels so as we know the sound waves are moving through particular medium like the any wave or which is traveling they need a particular environment for example for the uh, the sound vibrations or the sound waves they are propagating in the air even they are propagating in the liquid that right? sonar waves they are propagating in the liquid or the animals who are mostly who are interacting with the sound waves which are in the aquatic habitat okay same the different birds which are producing sounds of different frequency they are they are communicating <clears throat> or they are producing sound and that sound waves are uh, propagating or their vibrations are in the air same wise in the solid environment also the same <clears throat> that means the sound wave for the propagation of a sound wave they need different environment the sound wave is a pressure perturbation in the medium through which sound wave travels okay so the pressure is exerted by the source like we are talking so we are exerting a pressure in a particular way so that sound waves can reach to a desired destination or the desired uh, particular animal or the organisms likewise <clears throat> the different and through in different environment likewise different organisms are also do for example birds in the aquatic uh, habitat different animals for example fishes or whales okay? so sound pressures alternately causes compression and rarefaction the number of compression and rarefaction of the molecule of the medium for example air in a unit time decides uh, decide uh, described as a frequency okay? that means the source is 
producing sound and that is causing compression and rarefaction so compression compression and rarefaction is because possible because of the medium through which the wave is propagating okay and how much the compre compression and rarefaction that defines the frequency <clears throat> it is expressed in hertz and it is equal to the number of cycles per second so the general structure of sound wave you must have studied that is a maybe a sound wave for example that is moving through compression and rarefaction right so that how much cycles per second so when the two cycles are completing per second if we say then according to that the hertz that is the frequency is measured that means how many times the sound waves are repeating in a <clears throat> per cycle or per second okay so the loudness and the intensity it is defined or they try to identify with uh, with the uh, that how much the repetition and what is the width of this one we can say crest and trough okay, or the frequency so there is a wide range of sounds pressure which encounters human ear increase in a sound pressure does not invoke linear response to human ear a meaningful logarithmic, logarithmic scale has been devised the noise measurements are expressed as a sound pressure level that is called as a SPL, which is a logarithmic ratio of the sound pressure to reference pressure. So it is described as a dimensionless unit called as a decibel. So the noise intensity is measured in a decibel unit. Okay. The unit of loudness is expressed by that is this mathematical exponent of number 10. That's why it is called as a bell. So, one tenth of the bell, it is a quantitative measure. Okay, that's why it is called as a decibel. So, <clears throat> decibel is we can consider as a threshold of hearing. Okay, or it's considered to be the threshold of hearing. So, decibel is a logarithmic unit or the logarithmic scale. So, each 10 decibel increases uh, or each 10 decibel increase represents a tenfold increase uh, of the noise intensity. Okay. So, <clears throat> that is a general introductory part of uh, about decibel. Okay. So, it is used to represent the intensity of the so sound. Now, the international, sorry, international reference pressure of uh, is 2 into 10 raised to 5 minus 5 pascal is the average threshold of hearing for a healthy ear. Remember, this one is pascal, okay? That is for pressure, not for the noise or the sorry sound intensity. So, decibel the scale is measure of loudness. So, loudness is we can say the intensity. So, noise can affect human ear because it's loudness and frequency, that is a pitch, okay? So, this loudness and frequency that means uh, intensity and a pitch is different uh, in male and female. Okay. If we can, <coughs> if you uh, when while a teaching or someone when you you must have experienced that when a male teacher is uh, dictating or teaching and the female teacher is teaching. Okay. While teaching, the male sound or the male teacher sound is very low as compared to the female sound along with that the particular sound like sir okay that is the pronunciation is different uh, of male teacher and female teacher that is so for this kind of sounds you can uh, hear clearly from the female uh, tone or the from the female uh, teacher okay because the vocal box or the sound box is different and along with that the pitch is different okay so, that is a natural differentiation between a male and female voice. Okay. 
So the Central Pollution uh, Control Board, that is CPCB, committee has recommended permissible noise levels for different locations as given in the table. Okay. So what are the standards recommended by CPCB? So these are uh, in this chart for the industrial area. So the this is the chart about noise standards recommended by CPCB committee. Okay. So there is an area of there is area code. Okay. Suppose there is a code is there. Then the what is a what is the area which they cover? That is industrial area. So noise level in a DB. Okay. This A lake lake Q. Okay. This don't go in this that much detail. So what is a day and night level? Okay. That is a in the day that is seventy five decibel and at night seventy decibel. For commercial area, it is 65 and for 55 at night. Residential for 55 and night for uh, 45 and for silence zone that is 50 and 40. Okay. So what is what things are coming in the silence zones? That is hospitals, schools, okay, library. So all these things or the all these places are considered in a silence zone. Okay. Now this is a image particular where how much amount of uh, sound is produced and we can classify them as a faint, moderate, loud, very loud and extremely loud okay, based on the how much amount of noise or the sound uh, they produce. So for example, the breathe, the rustles of leaves, whisper and refrigerator, these are the faint or very low level of sound. Then afterwards, that is a 50 and 60, that is a 50 decibel and 60 decibel, it is for a moderate uh, amount or the moderate level of sound, that is from by chatting and rain. Now afterwards, that is a cars or the vehicles, you can observe the level that is 70 dB or the 70 decibel, that is considered as a 80. Now trucks, hair dryer and helicopter, okay, that is a, they are the level is reaching to 100 decibel that is a very loud now if we see the limitation of human ear sorry human ear that is the the highest threshold level or the of noise or the sound that human ear can tolerate is 85 decibel okay so <clears throat> that's why by the coloration you can observe they are reaching towards a red color that is a risk okay so, 100, uh, that is 100 dB uh, or 100 decibel, it is also a very loud sound and not good for human ear. Then there is a uh, trombone, chip, uh, polystyrene, jet engine and last one is firework, rocket launch. Of course, for this uh, practices, they use certain precautions. But above the 85 decibels, uh, it is not good for the human ear or that is a threshold level of hearing of sound so after 85 or actually at the 85 the human ear can feel the pain because of the high sound level now what are the <coughs> sources of noise pollution so there are two sources of noise pollution that are classified into two uh, so sorry the sources are classified into two types that is mobile sources and stationary sources so what are mobile sources? Mobile sources are various modes of transportation like air, road, rail, tra rail transportation. That means because of the sources which are movable can move from one place to another. And this includes air, road, rail, tra rail transportation. Okay, Air that means the instruments or the uh, machineries who can transport it through air. Road that means normal vehicles which are running uh, or that traveling on the road and the rail transportation. Okay. And the stationary sources include industrial operation, construction activities and celebrations. So that is stationary means at a one place. So whatever the uh, things which are happening on the or the construction or the any we can say the uh, institute which is responsible for the uh, noise pollution okay that includes industrial operation constructive activity that means if there is an instrument who is doing a lot of uh, noise and the celebration social religion functions elections etc that is a large down or the big 
sound system with the DJ it is playing that is considered as a stationary source and electric home appliances okay for any mixer or for drilling machine that is the uh, we can consider as a source of noise pollution or the stationary sources of noise pollution high levels of noise noise have been recorded in some of the cities of the world okay that uh, cities that is a, that is a na sorry Nanjing in China, noise level is 105 dB has been recorded. While in some other cities of the world, these levels are in Rome 90 dB, New York 88 dB, Calcutta 85 dB, Mumbai 82 dB, Delhi 80 dB and Kathmandu 85 dB. So if you see the levels, okay, these are either near threshold level and these are above threshold level. And these are very harmful for the human ear. So you may face different health issues okay and very hazardous or the harmful for the human ear along with that the audio players work all these small things which we play uh, in the home okay or at home these are also a uh, the sources of noise pollution along with aircrafts and all okay now what are the causes or sorry what are the effects you can observe because of noise pollution so, principal noise health effects uh, are both health and behavioral in nature. So, it is not only uh, hampering the health also, but it is responsible for the uh, change in behavior also. Okay. So, <clears throat> at subjected to 85 decibel of noise, the average person cannot sleep. Okay. So, at 24, 120 decibel, the ear registered pain but hearing damage and begins at the much lower levels that is about 85 decibel that was I am talking. So, the duration and exposure it is also important. Okay. So, the noise uh, noise pollution causes the following effects. Interfere, the first one is interfere with man's communication. In a noisy area communication is severely affected. Okay. For example, you are traveling through bus and you want to convey a message from uh, within a bus to your friend okay you have to scream or you have to increase your voice for the communication if you are standing or you are uh, sitting at a two different places okay then next one is hearing damage or we can say hearing loss so uh, noise can cause temporary or permanent hearing loss that means a mechanism for chronic exposure to noise leading to hearing loss okay and is well established or it is well known so elevated sound levels can cause trauma to cochlear structure okay uh, of course it is dependent on intensity and duration of sound, uh, sound level auditory sensitivity reduces with a noise level of over 90 decibel in the mid high frequency for more than few minutes that means the 90 decibel that means elevated sound level okay now what is actual uh, how this actual noise is responsible for hearing damage that is uh, the cochlear structure which is in the form of inner ear okay like a uh, pila shell okay or the any snail you must have seen okay the shell of snail it is in a round and circular uh, likewise, the somewhere same uh, structure which is present inside the ear. Okay. Now, generally, ear is differentiated into three parts. The outer part which you can touch, okay, and you can move, it is called as ear pinna. That is a outer ear. Then, through the hole, okay, you can collect different sounds, uh, sound waves. Okay, from that part the inner ear part starts okay even in the inner ear there is two parts okay the part which is starting from the holes of the ear okay there is a tympanic membrane is situated okay the tympanic membrane is for collection of sound waves along with that it is protecting the ear from a higher uh, level or the high intensity sound wave okay then the small uh, bones or the very delicate bones which are present in the body 
these are present in the inner ear okay that is after tympanic membrane the bones names are malus incus and stipes okay or the stips so because of the sound waves which are uh, falling on the tympanic membrane the bones are moving or because of the sound pressure the bones are moving okay and as the bones are moving as you know that the we can say water which is inside the ear okay so that water is present in that cochlear structure or the round shell like structure so because of the bones are moving uh, with the air pressure or with the sound wave the water which is present inside that cochlear structure is start vibrating now what is ha what happens because of this vibration in the cochlear structure or in that shell the small hair like structures are present which are beating with the particular frequency or the intensity of that sound waves okay so as the liquid is moving the hair starts beating okay and at the end of the this hair uh, hairs there is a nervous system connection okay that is the neurons are attached or the uh, veins sorry not sorry veins they are uh, the neural nervous system connection is there which can transmit that uh, to the brain or the impulse to the brain so that brain can recognize there is a particular uh, decibel or the particular intensity voice is falling on the air ear okay and you can recognize what is the person or the other person is talking to you now what happens that if we exceed the limit of uh, the normal human ear hearing okay that is maybe either 85 or 90 what happens that is damaging tympanic membrane because everything has certain limit so <clears throat> if the tympanic membrane is damaged it is non replaceable and it is not able to recover it afterwards you cannot take other person's tympanic membrane and attach to other person who has damaged or whose tympanic membrane is damaged okay so that's why it is important to maintain uh, the ear okay or the hearing mechanism so the sound waves okay we have to maintain the decibels now what is the meaning of audit permanent or temporary hearing loss now, if there is a very higher sound waves or the high intensity sound waves, if those because of the sound higher sound waves or the high intensity sound waves, maybe tympanic membrane get damaged. So, no tympanic membrane is functional, no collection of sound waves. Okay, and the further process will not take place. Another thing is it may be harmful for the bones or the cochlear structure. So that may be temporary or permanent hearing loss. But the uh, aging, okay, or the so hearing loss which takes place with the aging, okay, it is <clears throat> we can say not associated with the chronic exposure to the moderately or moderately high levels of environmental noise, okay. That is because of the aging, and as we are aging, the certain structures or of the or the organs in the body, they stop functioning or they reduce the functioning okay so that is a difference between the hearing loss of because of the high intensity sound waves and the aging okay now next one is physiological and physical psychological changes so continuous exposure to noise affects the functioning of various system of the body so it may result in hypertension insomnia that is sleeplessness gastrointestinal digestive and digestive disorders peptic ulcer blood pressure changes behavioral changes and emotional changes okay so what does it mean it is not only affecting the health or the functioning of the body but it is also hampering the emotional change or the behavior okay or the normal uh, sound uh, mind of the any person get disturbed okay so it may result into hypertension that means a bp problem okay so bp may increase 
that means blood is flowing at a higher rate okay and that is so in short the pressure is exerted on the heart okay so that means high noise level can attribute cardiovascular problems or the cardiovascular effects okay so uh, that means if a person is already suffering from bp that is a blood pressure high blood pressure and uh, even uh, during single night okay 8 hours or periods in uh, would be would cause a statistical raise in blood pressure of 5 to 10 mm of Hg. Okay, so that is we can say a stress, and that will cause a high blood pressure because of vasoconstriction. Vaso is we can say blood vessels constriction contraction. So because of vasocontraction, as we know, the blood pressure is increasing or the blood is moving or pumping far very at a very fast rate in the heart. Then there is insomnia, that is sleeplessness, okay, or the sleep disturbance, we can say. Then next one is gastrointestinal and digestive disorders, okay. So, as we know, the every body or the human beings need sound sleep, okay, or the continuous sleep. That's how our biological mechanism or the biological clock has designed. So, as we are sleeping, the digestion is going on. Even uh, during the daytime, we are when we are happy, the all the structures or the all the not the structures, all the systems are working at best. Okay, but if there is a no sleep, your mind is disturbed, then it is going to affect the gastrointestinal. That means a digestive system. Okay, so the production of enzymes or the juices which are responsible for the digestion. Okay. The secretion may be hampered or it is man get manipulated by the sound waves. Okay. Then digestive disorders may be feel constipation or any other uh, related disorders. Then there is a peptic ulcer. So peptic is an enzyme or we can say a, a chemical which is produced for the digestion of uh, any particular or more probably we can say a fat molecules. Now that is converted into pepsin and then the digestion takes place. Now if you are disturbed, in that case you must have observed that when the person is overthinking okay, or is in a tension, they always feel or they always suffer from an issue that is called as a acidity. Now why it is because, because as we are thinking, okay, there are certain stimulus which are given to the body. And those are increasing the secretion of these uh, chemicals, and that is increasing the acidity of the body. The next way blood pressure changes, as we know, and behavioral changes and emotional changes. As there is a, a we can say that gastrointestinal system and digestive uh, system is not working at its peak or the very uh, efficiently, and there is other that is insomnia, that is sleeplessness, or maybe any kind of disorder. Of course, there is less nutrition and if all as the body is disturbed, it is going to hamper the hormonal system. Because of the hormonal system is hampered or it is disturbed, we can say some kind of behavioral or emotional changes in the person. Okay? So that's why the sound sleep or the sound mind is very important. Uh, along with that, uh, what how can we control those noise pollution okay so first thing what we can do it is a reduction in the noise pollution okay so sources of noise pollution like heavy vehicles and old vehicles may be allowed to play in uh, not be allowed to play in the populated areas okay so as a government rule also that is the very old vehicles you have to submit Okay, and discard uh, to the at the government organization. And uh, what we are taking the one more step ahead that is a production of e vehicles, electronic vehicles. Okay, that are producing very less sound. As we are, you must have seen that the birds uh, who are running at the uh, at the electricity or the 
that is uh, the project is done by the government okay? those are producing very low low sound that even you are not recognized while passing that is a uh, buses which is running from electric vehicle is going okay or traveling through road next one is noise making machine should be kept in a container with a sound absorbing media uh and the noise path will be interrupted and will not reach to the workers okay so <clears throat> that things we can do another thing is proper oiling will reduce noise from machinery that is normal machinery which uh, we can use in a small factory even the vehicles also use of soil soil sorry sound absorbing silencers so silencers can be reduced noise by absorbing sound for this purpose various types of fibrous material could be used so maybe this may be uh, that is acoustic lining lining absorptive material is there and personal protection so if this is acoustic lining okay then that means a noise transmitted through dust pipes chases and electrical channels okay can be reduced effectively by lining inside the surface of such pathways with the sound absorbing material okay the absorptive material which you can use is uh, by the absor absorbing material such as acoustical tile carpets drip a uh, drip uh, sorry drips or the which are maybe at the you can place at the ceiling as well as on the wall okay so it can reduce uh, the noise level by 5 to 10 decibel Okay, and if it is very for high intensity but if it is low or the moderate amount that it can absorb 2 to 3 decibel uh, low frequency now you must have seen those who are uh, doing uh, the gaming with people who are in a gaming okay when they uh, construct their studio you must have seen they are planting or uh, they uh, try to stick the uh, certain tiles Okay, which are in a different colors these are also to reduce or to especially they are doing for the noise cancellation or to reduce the disturbance of soil but these are nothing but they the absorbing media okay then planting more trees having uh, broad leaves because plants are also absorbing so, some amount of sound uh, uh, that is now noise or the sound waves and the last what you can do the personal protection that is that ear plugs okay or ear muffs you can use uh, and that is can give that can be given to uh, workers who are working in a particular industry or a factory where the high sound is produced so according to the sound waves or the sound level or the intensity certain legislations or the laws are constructed by the government okay so legislations can ensure that sound production is minimized at a social function unnecessary horn blowing should be restricted especially in vehicle congested area okay so that most of the people who are doing that is in the, when people are trapped in the traffic they are honking the horn continuously okay so by this doing small small things we can reduce the noise pollution or control the noise pollution so along with that there is a particular area where the no horn zone is there for example school colleges okay uh, temples then hospitals at that place we should maintain the protocol or the law okay so that was about noise pollution and today we have covered what is a noise pollution what are the permitted levels of uh, sound waves or the intensity then we have seen what are the sources of noise pollution, effects of noise pollution on the human beings, along with that the noise pollution. Okay. Now one more thing is which I forgot to tell you that with the help of sonar sonar system, okay, uh, the machineries or the ships which are present in the marine ecosystem or the aquatic ecosystem, they are producing certain amounts or the intensities sound wave. That is also hampering the aquatic ecosystem because like human beings are having certain levels of hearing or the 
can hear the particular level or the intensity sound waves likewise the waves are also disturbing aquatic animals by which way now they are as we know our biological clock is getting disturbed because of high intensity or the noise pollution same the marine animals are also having their biological clock okay so this may be feel disturbed along with that it may feel it may hamper their hormonal system okay hormonal system hampering that means their biological clock is disturbed that means may change their spawning time that means egg laying time may change their reproductive behavior may change their survival instinct or if there is a particular species or the very uh, delicate or the sensitive species which is living in the particular area where sonar uh, system is operating and cannot tolerate a particular intensity of sound wave then we can say this species may become extinct within a few years or within a certain period of time so we have to reduce or we have to work on that system also so that is also a, another disadvantage or the effect of noise pollution we can observe okay 